Hey, how you doing? Now, I'm going to show you how to create a flip box effect on Bricks Builder, like what we have over here. And look, it doesn't matter if I'm over here, over here, as once I hover over that element, whatever it is, it basically flips over like that. The method I'm going to show you on how to do this is really, really simple. And we're not just going to drop in some code whereby you also build out everything in HTML as well. There is CSS code in here to help it flip. However, we are using um, Bricks Builder elements over here that you can see here. Look, I've got a heading, a heading and rich text here for the back of it, which is basically what we got here. I could have popped in an image as well. Um, the method I'm going to show you, some of you might go, well, there is a better way to do it or anything like that. Please put it in the comments. I'm just putting down what worked for me and it does work. And I really want to share it with you. Rather than building from scratch, though, I'm going to show you how I built this because it is a whole lot easier to explain. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is remove some CSS code and then I'm going to go through how it was built. It's already starting to look a little bit different, but don't worry. Let me just go through the structure. We have a section and a container. This section, for the purpose of this video, is a 100 VH in height. And basically, that's about it, other than the fact that I've also made it be in the center. Basically, the center bit puts the container in the center. We then have a container. This is doing nothing special except it's putting all the contents in the center. And and I mean, um, other than the fact that we have some padding over here, 50-50 on the left and right, there is nothing else going on. There's no height applied. There's no nothing. Now, in the background, I have given them some color. So section is gray and the container is a dark gray. Now, neither my section or my container have any class names applied because I want to just show you that you could have a page where you might have an image over here or something else here. You can have loads of items in here. The key bit to make this flip card basic effect work is the block the next block and then inside of that block we basically have these two divs here that's the front div and that is the back div okay the front div which is this one here and the back one over there why have i got two blocks well for the purpose of the code the way it works is um it's going to basically flip it but it's all about perspective and how you keep things in line if you try and do this without having these two blocks here, I struggle to make it work. And if anyone out there has got better code and a copy of the code will be in the video description so you can go away and try it yourself, please do put it in the comments. I love to learn as much as you. Now, the section container, pretty basic. We have the first block, okay? This block, if we go over to it, there's nothing funky happening with it, okay? It's just a block we've pasted in here. And the only thing, though, is, uh, let me just make sure I get this right. If we go to the layout, you'll notice that the width of this is set to 230. If I remove that, that is how big the block is, because that block sits in a container. This container is not restricted by width. It's a full width. It's stretching. So your container inside of here could have like a video, an accordion, it could have loads of stuff in there. But if to control what goes on here right now, I'm having to restrict that block. So I've made that block be 230. I'll explain the 230 in a moment, okay? You can chop and change it how you want. Because whatever I do will only be occurring within this block. So if I have something over here, I don't want that to be affected by the flip card. So I've made this be 230, but that's it. A width of 230, and the second thing I've done to it, I've given it a CSS class name of flip container. So the first box, or the first block even, is called flip hyphen container. Okay, 230 flip container. The second block that now sits inside of here is practically the same, except it also has the name, well, it has the name Flipper. So the first one is Flip Container. I can't remember what I called it now. Flip Container. And the second one is Flipper. All right. Yeah, you know, I know that's a dolphin, but go with it, right? The second one is Flipper. And the only other thing we've done to this is in the layout, well, basically nothing, if I'm honest. If I go to that block, there's no width, there's no height. If I go to content, the only thing we've done is put everything in the center. Because if I do this, I mean, you don't have to hit the center. I just did it as a force of habit. 
but you could get away with leaving it completely blank, okay? I hope you're following this okay. The block is a flip container and 230. The block, there's no width, there's no height. This is called flipper. Now we get onto the two divs. The very first div that I entered into here, uh, just dropped a div in, basically, from over here, that you can see, basically, basically a div. It's set to be a column, so that if I add anything, they can sit underneath one another. You could go for a row. Because you're inside a div, you can build out whatever you want, okay? I could have had a background image, I could have put an image above, an icon, anything you want, button even as well. It's a sent to be in the center like that, and also I've just centered it there, so it's fully centralized, okay? That's all I did there. When we go to the style, I added in some padding of 20. Uh, mainly because the bottom one has some padding, so I did it to the top as well. You don't have to do the padding, it's entirely up to you. But here's now where I am making the size consistent. The very first block was a 230 in width, so when we get over to the first div, this is now 230 in width, and it has a height of 300. You want to ensure that the front and back of your flip are the same height and the same width. If they are not consistent, you will see, well, basically, it's not going to look good at all, okay? So make sure they are consistent, 230 and 300. I could have gone with 250, but I wanted to make a point, and we went with 230. Then you scroll down. Also, there's a background color. You know, you don't need to worry about that. When we get down to the CSS, this has a class name of front. Flip container, flipper, front. Keep it pretty simple, right? Then we go to, uh, and by the way, you can see here we've got the heading. If we now go to the back div, which is over here, this is an exact copy of what we had above. Exactly the same, center, center, column approach. You go to style, we've got 2020 in the padding, 230 width, 300 on the height. We have a background color. I mean, what I will do is just to make a point, I'm going to give this a slightly different background color like that. If we now go down to the CSS, this just has a class name of back. That was it. And we have our heading and text. Of course, if I had gone and duplicated this uh, many, many times like that, I would probably want to adjust the height of that. So make sure you adjust the height on the front div and the back div. Right, let's just get rid of all of that. Basically for consistency purposes, okay. Now when you've done all of that, when you're looking at it, it doesn't look right at all, okay? And this is where you want to now add in a CSS class, not a CSS class, the CSS code to make it flip. Because look, nothing's going to happen when you move your mouse over it. Now, I have just remembered, though, that on the second block, okay, on the layout, I'm going to ensure that this is a 230 and a 300 as well. So this block here that contains the divs, okay, must be the same height and width as the two diffs. So let me just very quickly recap before we go on to the CSS. This is called flip container. It has a width of 230. This is called flipper, and it has a width of 230 and a height of 300. Sorry, I didn't say that early when I was talking about it, okay? The two divs in here are also 230 and 300. I hope that's clear. Now we're going to go over to, well, it doesn't matter any of the block. I'm going to go to this block here. I'm going to go down to CSS. Uh, you, can, you can put this in either one of the blocks, but I prefer to go to what I call the container one. And I'm now going to drop in this code over here. Um, and all it's really done, like, let me just remove it again. Um, all it's going to do is basically hide away the back. Now, you will have noticed that the moment I made this block be a 230 by 300, and I just want to recap over this, okay, the minute I do this like uh, that, everything's scrunched up, and the front box is now no longer the right height. Don't be fooled by that, okay? All you're doing is controlling how everything sits. So now when we go and pop in the code in the parent one, and I'm sorry if I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again, just to make the point on how this works. If I now just save that, uh, in fact, let's just go to preview. If I go to the section, nothing happens. I go to the container, nothing. Look, I can go all the way around the container. Nothing is flipping. Because now we go to the second block, 
which is the same height and width. So everything now happens in there. Look, right? Look, I'm inside and it flips. Now, I'm not a massive, massive fan of flip boxes. You do it too much and it's overwhelming, especially on a mobile. But this is now working. And like, if we were to go to mobile mode, it still works on mobile mode. Look, I'm all the way around it. I can go as close as I want. And it's not until I'm actually on it, but it's gonna flip. The code for this is in the video description. And for anyone out there that was wanting to do a flip box using the elements of bricks that you have here, you can now do that. I mean, I could go over here now and go, oh, you know what, let's just go and get in an icon. Let's stick an icon in maybe above the header like that. And look, it works. It works absolutely fine. So you could build this out however you want. You could now, you know, look, you could be quite creative. And I've gone and put the yellow background back in as well. Uh, this is really simple and easy. I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.